Well, get set to fork over a little more cash before you can pick up your dinner fork. Food prices, as we've been telling you, are expected to jump in Canada by as much as 7% over the next 12 months. Bad weather is one of the reasons. The rising oil prices and unrest in the Middle East are another part of the problem. Astrid Brunschmidt joins us now live with what uh, you can do to keep your grocery bill down. Astrid. Well, Hudson, with the spike in the food prices on the horizon, a produce that has to travel long distances before it gets to our plates is going to start to cost more. Do you want to get uh, sour cream and cheddar on there? What you eat could soon cost you more. Economists predict the price of food could jump between 5 and 7 percent this year. Blame the spike in oil prices for an increased cost in transportation and bad weather for the bad crops around the world. The prices on tomatoes, they, they went way up. It was just because of all the, the weather conditions down in Mexico, the really severe winter. So uh, normally we were using the beefsteak tomatoes. Uh, we decided to switch over to the Roma tomatoes. They're about $10 less a case. But there's more to the world food crisis. The world population is going to increase by a third. You have to feed all those mouths, and the amount of arable land is not increasing significantly. The other issue is that you've got uh, 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 middle-class populations growing by leaps and bounds in formerly underdeveloped countries like China and India. They're wanting to eat like we do in the West. Third thing is that with the unfortunate idea of growing biofuel on agricultural land, what we're now doing is pushing food off that land and growing uh, fuel. Some analysts predict that the global rise in food costs will actually encourage us to buy produce that's grown a little closer to home. Because tomatoes that don't travel as far don't cost as much. Well, months ago, even before the freeze, they were probably around $249 or $299 a pound for a similar product. But uh, now that the BC crops are coming in, the prices are coming down, and the product is getting higher quality. The root seller says local produce takes priority, and prices have remained fairly stable. On average, Statistics Canada says general food prices rose 2.1% in 2010, about the same as the general inflation rate. Still, some people are going one step farther, taking matters into their own hands. I took an urban, urban homesteading course to grow my own food in, at home, and I've also signed up for a gardening class that I'm starting next Saturday. That's one way to beat the price hikes already announced by major food producers Loblaw and Maple Leaf Foods. What we need to do is strengthen our regional food system. And it's only by strengthening that regional food system in the context of a coherent national food policy that we're going to be able to protect ourselves from food price increases in the future. Because in the long term, buying local could be healthier for both you and your wallet. Now, many of us have noticed the biggest jumps have been in key com commodity ingredients, uh, such as wheat, corn, sugar, vegetable oil. Uh, those have gone up as much as 50 to 100 percent over the last year at a near record rate. The costs of those staple items, Hudson, are forcing food companies to raise their rates. Bakery company George Weston uh, has already planned to charge 5 percent more for its products starting April 1st. All right, Astrid Brownshorn reporting. Astrid, thanks. You're welcome.